Alright, so a couple days ago, I playtested the Is a Phoenix Pioneer Challenger deck, and it didn't go well. Which means I'm dead? That was just awful, I just didn't have anything to do. I feel like I just have such a hard time finding stuff. <sighs> None of this is good. Like, we've gone through more than half our deck, haven't seen a single Phoenix. I, I, I quit. Frank this client. Frank this. Frank this. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. The deck is trash and needs four Arc Life Phoenix. The fact that they released it without four Arc Life Phoenix is insane to me. But today I'm a changed man. I am a man with four Phoenixes. Four Phoenixes, that's right. So today we're going to test a, uh, an Is a Phoenix deck and see, see if four Phoenixes are better than two. It's just a theory of mine. I think, I think having four Phoenixes is better than two. Could be crazy, could be crazy, but I think it might be the case. So, uh, how does this deck work? It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. We just played it on the channel, but is a Phoenix, is a Phoenix, Arc Light Phoenix, which is played in is a Phoenix, has flying and haste. At the beginning of our combat, if we've cast three spells, um, instants and sorceries, that is, we get to return it from the graveyard to the battlefield. Very powerful considering it has haste because it can attack right away. And a lot of our deck is stuff that draws cards and tries to get stuff in the graveyard. Like consider if we reveal an Arc Light Phoenix on top, we put it in the graveyard, draw, op draws. We have chart of course, which draw two if we have an attack we discard we actually want to play this before we attack to draw two and try to discard phoenix we have strategic planning which lets us look at the top three we get to put one card in our hand preferably something like consider and then we put the other cards in our graveyard preferably something like arc light phoenix so the idea is to just draw 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 discard 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 try to get phoenix in the graveyard and then get it back for free. The ideal scenario is we get like two or three of these in the graveyard. And then we just have like six to nine power. Nice. Recurring every turn. Even, even if our opponent has blockers. They just come back every turn over and over again. And relentlessly pressure the opponent. We also have Crackling Drake. Which has power equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. Or in exile. Got Smoldering Egg. As we cast spells, it flips into a 4-4 flyer that then shocks stuff as we cast spells. Ledger Shredder, also pretty important. 2 mana, 1-3. Whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, Ledger Shredder connives. So what that means is we cast two spells, then we get another draw and discard to hopefully ditch another Arc Light Phoenix. Pretty nice. Also slowly develops into a threat all by itself. So that's the idea. The most important thing here. Is we have four phoenixes and i feel like that's a good thing so let's uh let's play test this and see how it feels all right ledger shredder is great we'll keep this so we'll play this scry charter course is fine these lands are or these sleeves are fancy opponent is playing some sort of aggro humans maybe mono white hard to say we will play ledger shredder all right, so we're set up pretty well. We see the fine phoenixes now, which, again, as I've been saying, is much easier now. Oh, well, that's that's rough. Well, there's a phoenix. That's like, though, of course. I mean, holy crap. So, I guess we do that in this speed. Yeah, we'll just pass. No attacks. End of turn. Plan to play Thalia, or kill Thalia end of turn. Um, sure. All right, we'll do discard a card, you discard the Phoenix. Great, my turn. All right, let's draw two, discard one. There's a Phoenix, ah, oh, it's so much easier. It is so much easier. The problem is, uh, I wanna pay two life. I I wanna risk it, see if I can find a one drop. That's all I need is a one drop. Once that's not, um, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, so probably discard this. One drop, please. No. One drop, one drop, one drop, one drop. Yes. All right, we'll play this. Um, I guess I could take... Do I need it? I'm going to put that in the graveyard. Draw a land. All right. Two phoenixes. Look how different this is, man. It's crazy. Just going to be aggressive. But it goes to 12. So what does this do? It is destroy target a legendary permanent. Not a concern. Thalia sucks for me, but 
it's not, uh, like, it's fine, whatever. All right, so I can't really play two spells for this turn. I don't have any, like, benefit to, to, uh, to casting stuff. So I'm just, they do have three lifelink, though. So I think I just attack for six. And I need to keep that three, two in check. And they're dead next turn. Unless they attack, which is fine. Great. What a difference. What a difference. Holy crap. It's crazy what a difference four phoenixes make over two. All right, this is great. We'll keep this. Got a phoenix. Not a lot of spells, but we have... Ledger Shredder is pretty huge. Smolder Gag will be good if they're playing aggro, which it looks like they might be. Another one. So we'll play this tapped. This is like one of my favorite boards. I don't know, the the art style around the edges is just super cool. This is an explorer now. It's in standard. The set rotated out of standard, so we get it in explorer now. It's pretty cool. Alright. Oh, three Phoenixes! That's more than the entire Challenger deck. Um, I believe. I think I need to get a uh, ledger. Ah, uh, but what if they have a removal spell? Uh da 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 da. Maybe I should save that for when I can play this and then a spell. This will block creatures. It's hard to kill with if they're the more burn focused deck. And eventually we'll double spell with this and just start discarding these phoenixes. They're not pressuring me right now. They don't have any creatures. So I can just be a little bit more patient here. Opponent's clocking. I don't know what's going on. Alright, that's fine. I go to 16. So it seems like they're pretty burn focused. I kind of want to just kill that. I kind of want to. I'm going to discard, uh, but I could, I could discard two phoenixes with this and potentially get a land, but it's too much pressure, I think. Chandra. Yeah, I think this is the right line. Adds a red. I'd love to. Yeah, this is the more spell burn focused red deck. They are running out of gas. I can't really pressure this Chandra though. Also, sorry if this game seems a little choppy. The opponent is going to going to their timer with every move. So I'll be cutting all that out as I sit here twiddling my thumbs waiting for something to happen. So ideally we draw a land so I can ledger shredder into strat uh, strategic planning, which will let me connive. All right, opponent times out. Well, I did find a land. It's not the one I wanted. Charter course is fantastic. I'll take that. I'll play Ledger Shredder. All right, so I'm not concerned about this getting hit with the burn spell now because I would actually prefer that considering I'm at 10. But next turn, we can draw two, discard a Phoenix. We can strategic planning which will connive, discard another phoenix. If we hit a land and a one drop in that, we can uh, play the one drop and get two phoenixes back, which means we'll have eight power. And if they have three burn spells, that's not good. And if they just let their timer run out, then I guess I win. Okay, well, that's nice. At the very least, I'll, I'll leave this game in because it illustrates just how much better the deck is uh, with three phoenixes. I don't know if I'm winning this game, but like I said, next turn, I'm at the very least drawing two, discarding a phoenix, getting a card here. If I find a land at an opt or a consider or any one drop, I can play that, get potentially eight power on board next turn because this will get a connive a trigger and it's discarding a phoenix. So I'll get a counter and we'll have two phoenixes. So, you know, that's the power of having four phoenixes instead of two. This is fine. We have an early game blocker. We have a ledger shredder to filter. We can scry turn one. I will take the land. I have these fancy lands. They were like really cheap. They're like 5,000 coins or something. Don't normally buy cosmetics, but when they're super cheap, I will. So do I value ledger shredder first? I think I want just more toughness because this has uh, has prowess. So I just think having, having more toughness is probably good. Yeah, these are in the store right now, and they're like 20,000 gold or 25,000 gold, and it's like, yeah, no, yeah, no, 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 not doing that. But the shot, the pain lands were super cheap. Uh, actually, what are the chances that they, I'll just take the two. 
I'll just take the two. I played this for more toughness and then I just don't trust it. Okay. Sure. Alright, fine. So, let's play another blocker. Yeah, this is fine. And then I want to play my second spell per turn even though this is an instant. So I can get this connive. Looking for phoenix. Hey, look how easy it is to find phoenixes when we have, uh, you know, I, I want this. When we have more than, more than two. Look at that. We're, we're ten cards deep. We already found a, found a phoenix. It's like, it's like it's better. Don't know if we're going to win this game, but I mean, I think we've proven <laughs> that it's a little bit easier to find phoenixes when you, when you have them in your deck. People who didn't watch that video aren't going to understand. It was just a disaster. Don't worry about it. Not my finest moment. Went on a bit of a rant. But. We get that connive here. Um. Actually don't think I want that. I want spells. So we have a 3-5 blocker now. They have one card. I'm pretty sure I can block the Soul Scar Mage. No problem here. Unless they can kill it. They're, they highlighted it. Uh, That's fine. 3-4 I can block. I go to 11. Strangle is like kind of perfect. Yeah, let's strangle. I'm just going to do this now. Great. Let's play this. Draw two, discard one. We really want to see an Arc Light Phoenix. That'd be fantastic. We don't. I think we want to discard this. I don't have a Phoenix. I have lots of discard outlets. Probably just a land. I don't need the counter. It's fine. All right. Uh, we'll play this. We have to do one to ourselves. Auto pay. Get another counter. I don't want another land. Do I? Nah. Because I'm going to be drawing a lot. I can find lands if I need them. That's great. So I get a phoenix back. And I'm just going to attack with... Uh, yeah. Just the phoenix. Do I want to attack with... Oh, I'll attack with both. We'll, we'll be risky. Put the opponent down to 11. That was not the... I, I probably should have left Ledger's Rider back to be absolutely safe. But I'll risk it. Yeah, I could lose the Smoldering Egg here. They have a pump spell. But, uh, that's okay. Sure. I got a four. Even if we lose this, I feel much better about it. Actually have an Arc Light Phoenix. Okay. Um, discard. I guess chart a course. It's fine. So, can they kill me with that last card? Let's mission briefing. Let's put this in the grave. Keep consider. I probably should cast removal. What, what are what, how big are the creatures? Yeah, let's cast strangle. All right, so we'll strangle. Kill this. Draw and discard. I'll discard the consider. Flame blessed bolt here. I'm going to leave the Arc Light Phoenix back because, uh, yeah, this is still risky. Like the worst case scenario, I guess if they have a burn spell, I'm worried about a haste creature, the, uh, the two mana, two, two. Okay. They draw a burn spell. Well, we lost, but that felt much better than the pioneer deck. Um, this is fine. Lots of filtering and discarding need to find Phoenixes, but. We have a scry and draw here. We can draw two discard here. Two lightning axes is a little bit awkward. These are good. I don't like having multiple. I like like one per game. I'd almost rather play two. To, oh, well, the, hey. Look what I found. I am not going to pay two life. Found a phoenix. Because I have four of them. Because I have four of them so I can find them. Isn't that crazy? It's, cr it's pretty crazy. I don't think I'm going to be... Casting spells this turn. I think I'm just going to play the scry. It, Drake's nice. I don't need it. It's fine. All right. We will pass. So in theory, I could triple spell next turn. I don't know if it's going to be worth it. But we'll see what the opponent plays, I guess. That's fine. Some kind of rampy thing. I mean, like the best case scenario here is I top deck like a strangle. Sure. Like, strangle, kill this. Lava axe, discard this. Like, that's, like, ideal. Here we go. Ready? Strangle? Not quite. I could consider... See if we find a strangle. See if we find it. That's not it. 
Is this it? That's not it. So probably, probably Lightning Axe, discard five here, discard Phoenix. Great. Opt. No. Draw. Phoenix, great. Uh, get the Phoenix back. Attack for three. I mean, we did it. We did the thing. Turn three, Phoenix. Plenty of gas. We can, uh, next turn, we can draw two, discard Phoenix. Opt. Try to find an uh, another spell. All seems pretty good. They play a threatening creature. We can Lightning Axe instead to discard Phoenix. Worst case scenario is that the five mana six six that makes three threes. I can't remember what it's called. It's on screen. It's this thing. Really don't want to see that. What's that card called? Why can't I remember? Well, it's not Nissa, so that's good. So Nissa, yeah, I'm not concerned too much about this. Make a three three attack for five. Fine. So I can attack Nissa for six this turn. I think I am Lightning Axe, discard a card, hit the forest, discard a Phoenix. They do have two green, but I cast the spell, so it's fine. All right, so now we're going to, actually strategic planning makes more sense. We'll play this, try to hit a Phoenix, get a Phoenix in the graveyard. Holy, and we get another. I probably just want this at this point. I'll take this. That's another Phoenix in the graveyard. We will opt. That is three spells. I will take the strategic planning. Go to combat. Get two more Phoenixes. It's so much better. It's so much better with four Phoenixes. Holy crap. All right. So we do six at Nyssa. Three at them. This is just such a night and day difference. Holy crap. The whole point of the deck is to filter through your deck and the the challenger deck because it has two phoenixes instead of four all of the filtering just doesn't do anything so you spend the whole game filtering 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 but not actually accomplishing anything and now you see what this is supposed to do that's really good i wish i had taken the lightning axe didn't i discard one of those that's a bummer so i mean we still attack them because we can get the phoenix back it's fine Hit them for six. They go to ten. Then I can strategic planning. If I find a burn spell, that'd be good. That would also be pretty good. But I want I want to see if I can find a burn spell. So I'll take this. I will draw two, discard two. I would. Oh, I already attacked. I don't have to discard. Right, that's how that works. Alright, I didn't find a burn spell. There's a phoenix. Put that in the graveyard. Alright. So, we can, uh... I wanted to find, uh, like a strangle to kill that off. Um, so now next turn, we have four phoenixes. So I can opt and cathartic pyre. I can discard these two, draw two. Gives me a lot of reach to find another spell to get all four phoenixes on the battlefield. And see, this is something that I couldn't do with the Challenger deck, is when I was playing that deck, if you watched that video, I was spending so much time casting these spells, but they just weren't doing anything. They, they you couldn't, they, they weren't accomplishing anything. And now you can see, I can just churn, 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 and it's actually like, there's an end goal, which is, you know, winning the game. I'm a little bit concerned about Chandra, and I can't kill them next turn, because they, they block, unless I draw a, whatchama thing. Uh, an, an axe. I don't know if I have any more. Um, there's... Nope. I have three in the deck. There's... Or do I have four? I think I have three. I guess I could find the... The surveil thing that lets me cast from the graveyard. That'd be good. That's fine. I'm concerned that they're gonna tap for a bunch of mana and cast another Hydroid Crisis. But if I don't... This might be not winnable. It's felt really... Ooh, there's another blocker though. Okay, so... Let's play this first. Let's opt. Consider. Okay, let's discard this. This goes on bottom. Draw. Consider. Land graveyard. Cathartic pyre. Hmm. 
All right, go to combat. Oh, I didn't. Did I not play three spells? I thought I played three spells. Whoops. All right, we're just not going to attack then. My mistake. I thought I played three spells. Did I not? Am I crazy? No, I just opted in. Cons oh, I played Ledger Shredder, which is you know not a not an instant or sorcery. Whoops. Whoops. My mistake. It's fine. They can't attack with Hydrid Crisis. The danger here is another one with all this mana that they have now. They have what? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12? They have 12 mana. They can cast one for 10. This is fine. All right. So next turn, if they don't have another Crisis, I can Cathartic Pyre kill their Crisis and attack them for lethal. I just need them to not play another Crisis this turn. They do have mana open. They could... That's That has reach. I get to connive, though. Um, I guess we have to do this. Because I need three spells next turn. The reach sucks. I kind of want them to play this card, so I just know... I know that it's not something I have to worry about. I can block and kill stuff this turn, too, by the way. Because I'm going to get all the Phoenixes back. Alright, so I just kill both of these. Great. Don't know why my frame rate is so choppy right now. Alright, my turn. Chartacores. So I believe we do three here. We do three here. That's two spells. Ooh. Let's discard this. Great. They put Cavalier of Thorns. I don't know what they did there. Alright, opt. Land on bottom. Draw. That's what I was... Mission briefing, that's what it's called. So I played three spells, right? Yes. Yes, I did. Alright, great. Go to combat. Get all these back. And I believe they're dead. They do have one card in hand. A little concerning. That's so much better. Oh my god. The Phoenixes. They're pretty good in a Phoenix deck. Alright, so what do I think of this deck, guys? I think it's uh I think it's pretty good with four Phoenixes. I'm just saying, uh, if you're gonna play it and it's a Phoenix deck, definitely play four Phoenixes and not just two of them. And uh Ledger Shredder is also pretty great. Unfortunately, they're pretty expensive in paper. It really sucks. I think they're like $15 to $20 in paper. So that's annoying. But uh, deck's cool. Definitely play four Phoenixes. And it's pretty fun. So there you go. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what a Phoenix deck can look like when it's, you know, built properly by people who know what they're doing. Great. So yeah, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.